welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery. And today we are broadcasting live to YouTube, Facebook, uh, OML Embroidery University Facebook group, um, Facebook OML Embroidery page, and Twitter all at the Yay. same time. So how cool is that? So good morning, everyone. We were just, uh, we signed up, started a little bit early so we could figure it all out. So here's what we're doing today. This is my newest uh, set, I guess, of quilt blocks. It started with this one, which I absolutely love. This is the original block. And I decided to... Um, Leah says, wow, you're all over the internet. <laughs> hi, Isabel. Hi, hi everyone. Karina says, hi, Sue. Oh, I didn't introduce you. And over at the computer is Dawn. So Hello. excited. There you go. Okay. So it started off with this one. And then I thought, of course, we need a quilting block to go with it. So then I came up with these two. And this is like, it could be a whole um, separate, I guess, pattern because it's a big spider web and a big um, hexagon which I thought was cool this one up in the corner is endless quilting and it's all in one piece and uh, with the spiders so you can put the really cute you know uh, fabric underneath it and it's still going to show so it starts here and it ends here endless quilting so regular applique original block i called it and this endless quilting and then quilting this is probably my favorite with the background fabric because it looks like the witch's hat and part of the skull and the moon and all of that are stuck in the spider web so i thought that was really cool how it turned out and then the extra large one with it may or may not be a brown recluse spider. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't do it black because it won't show up. Um, by the way, today I'll be doing this color Ooh. spider. Yes, I've done it before. And it looks awesome. Um, yeah. So you get all four of these um, for one price. So three of them are free. You can mix and match. You can do endless quilting on um you know maybe smaller around the whole thing there's so much you can do so four blocks to play with all of them have different uses and by the way on this one i don't know how well you can see it but i did use silver metallic thread so hopefully no it's not working so also i wanted to tell you that this is don's newest mylar and what's this called don What's this um, dude called? It's a Trick or Treat Ghost. Trick or Treat Ghost. And it'll so be part of the Trick or Treat Kids collection. Collection. They're all separate, but he he thinks you can see them because he did hand quotes. Just so you know, <laughs> yeah, they can't see that. I'm still on my first coffee. Uh, I know, I know. I got up late too. I didn't want to get out of bed today. So yeah. He's cute, and the mylar is underneath, and you can't really see the sparkle, but see a little bit. it sparkles. Yeah. It's it's beautiful. We use the iridescent mylar, and so it just shows up, and I love it. So, on to today. I had a hard time deciding which one we're going to do, but we are going to do this big spider block. So what I have here, this is the Joys of Layer Cakes. I have the same background as the orange, but I have it in black. And I think that's really cute. I believe there's a purple one too. So you can really um, make a nice setup with this. And then I'm going to do the black for the big spider web uh, with silver spider web parts on it. And uh, a big, fat, juicy, ugly spider. <laughs> I just thought it would be cool. He's going to look really good. So that's what I'm going to do today. Now, for these ones, 
I just sewed them together and I have a lovely backing on it. I didn't do the binding. I did it the other way. So this could be, um, I'm probably going to put it on my coffee table because I really like this and it's I, a nice size. I think it should go on the coffee yeah, table. Yeah, I could have put nice. maybe two more on it and made a really big placemat, but I just think it'll be um, really cute like this. What about and Halloween lanterns? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got quite a few of those. So I just thought that would be really cute and a cute size. And like I said, this is probably my um, favorite. Lorelei says, oh, you can add Teflon and make it a hot pad. Beautiful size for a hot pad, isn't it? For sure, for sure. So I have my batting. I have my background fabric. And I have my machine. So let's head on over to my Luminaire 2, waiting to be a three, but we don't have it yet. So we're still waiting. And his name is Captain Jack. So there we go. Really good with the candle mat from last year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we have another thing to try. We have a third camera that we can connect and it's really cool because it's my iPhone and I have it on the machine and we just wanted to test it. What? Nothing. What? There's a mom's watch and you can go hang up purple. No. Jeez, it's called iPurple so <laughs> on the network. So, I mean, what do you want, Don? <clears throat> so, can we do the split screen? Today is the day of testing. <laughs> it worked. Look at that. It worked. So whenever we need the third camera, this is absolutely perfect. And it looks great. I love it. So we are ready to go into embroidery mode. And the first thing we're going to do is placement. And now you guys can watch the green right there. And that's where the stitches are going. Oh, it's frozen. You could have said that. I just realized. So it didn't work. Alright, kill it. Uh, it worked when we tested it. Oh well. That's okay, we're broadcasting everywhere, so I'm happy with that. We will work on that. We'll have to test it. It worked perfectly we're before. All over the, yeah, we're all over the interwebs. interwebs can you stop please do your job stop talking drink coffee <laughs> don't spit out your coffee dawn <laughs> there we go now uh using the batting and it's just the regular batting that i use uh, i just prefer it for quilt blocks and by the way cutaway stabilizer these designs would be great for a beginner of any kind because it's simple applique with straight lines and that makes it easier to do. So we are going to, now I did have my scissors here. Oh, I buried them. I buried them. Nisha said they're going to need more monitors to cover all these screen yellow. <laughs> Yay, I know. And we have the chat in one. So if you make a comment on Facebook, we can still see it. Don can. I don't yeah. have it on mine, but it's kind of cool. Um, it doesn't say names, but if people are going to use it, I'll show you how to get the names on it. Don't pick on Don. Remember that you missed him when he was at work. Enjoy him when you can. Well then. You got told. I got told. Uh, he's annoying me this morning, so I'll do what I want, as yeah, my my daughter would say. All right, switch cameras, Don, or I can do it. Yeah. Back to the desk. Okay. Yep, there we go. So I am just going to trim my batting so someone made a comment saying that i use my um my scissors my duckbill scissors both ways and they thought that was weird 
And I kind of laughed. I'm like, I, I guess I don't say it enough. Um, or she didn't watch enough. Yes, I do it backwards. I am much more comfy doing it backwards. But I'm trying to show you guys the right way of doing it. So now I'm doing it backwards. Um, so yeah, I like doing it backwards, too. I do line. switch. I don't know. It's not rocket science. <laughs> um, Lorelei says, I love your fabrics. They are super fun. Yeah, I love them. I love them. I have used up a lot of Halloween fabric this year. It's kind of funny. A lot, a lot. So remember when you're trimming to do it carefully. I mean, this doesn't matter hugely. And yes, I, I do know I'm doing it backwards, but I'm actually much more comfy doing it. So see how much nicer that is than trying to do it how my brain doesn't want so i have left-handed duck bills and i still do it upside down <laughs> yeah whatever works for you is the right way as far as i'm concerned yeah yeah it's called rocket surgery oh you guys are on the ball today <laughs> i'm loving it i'm loving it yeah i just thought it was funny that someone commented I'm like yeah I, I know i'm trying but you know whatever all right, so now we're going to put our boo fabric on it. And this design is perfect for this. And then we're going to stitch it down. So back to the machine, Dawn. Do you feel picked on, sweetheart? Nope. Good. <laughs> Good. I don't care. I love this. It's so cute, the ghosties. Um, by the way, fabric like this is absolutely perfect for um, uh, fussy cutting. A happy ghosty in the window or something like that. They're, they're big enough. Or the boo, the writing, the boo. That ah, shows up so perfectly, too. Oh, uh, up, up. Yeah, I mean... I try to do it the right way because, I mean, the duckbill scissors are meant, the bill, the duckbill part is meant to just glide over everything. So it's really kind of useless to do it the wrong way. But I do. I don't think it matters. So now we've got this nicely. Actually, it's really good. Lots of booze in there. We'll be able to see them all too. And now we are going to do the placement stitch for the one applique that we're doing. Thank now, you, Jill. Now you guys won't be able to see it very well, but it's because it's in black. Jill Scarsburg, thank you very much. Much appreciated. I'm going to put that towards more Halloween fabric because whoever has enough of Halloween fabric, I mean, seriously. Seriously. So that's quite big. By the way, I should have mentioned I am doing the 8x8 eight eight size. That's my favorite size to do for uh, quilt blocks for some reason. I just prefer it. So I'm going to lay my fabric down and make sure it covers everything. And then I'm going to stitch it down. Now, I chose the black again because... I think that the metallic thread looks amazing on it. I'm super sick and super medicated, so my brain is firing on all the wrong cylinders. and never know what's going to happen. Well, yeah. I hope you do feel better, though, Misha. I hope you feel better. No fun being sick. So we're stitching it down. That's looking good. It's going to look fantastic when I cut off the rest of the black. So, yeah. Awesome. So, you can't really see the thread, but you can see the outline. So, that's kind of awesome. So, a little dance, and we're done. Go back to the desk, Don. And it is up. Thank you. Thank you. Now, this way it doesn't really matter which way I use my scissors. I love these ones. They're so sharp. It's just a glorious thing. See, I'm having a nice trimming day. I need to sit and do more applique then. 
because it's a good trimming day. Doesn't happen always online. So hopefully people in the um, OML Embroidery Facebook, uh, oh, sorry, OML Embroidery University Facebook group are having fun watching. I just thought it would make it easier. Linda Baker is. She's the one that's making the comments there. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, cool. And mom's watching with me apparently on Facebook. <laughs> Yay! It's it kind of fun. <laughs> Make sure you like it or send a send a heart. They should fly up. No? Yeah, they are. Look at the corner. They're flying up. All right, we are going back to the machine, Don. And make sure you're zoomed out for a minute. Yeah. And enter Kingstar Metallic. Because silver a silver kind of glistening it's gonna look good uh my favorite i just love being able to use metallic thread it's it's awesome especially for a spider web so i kind of chose my fabrics accordingly uh the rest of them i did in black but it's cool having this so let's see this stitch in metallic thread with no problems uh, it's oh yeah look at that i love it already i don't know if the metallic nest shows up really well but it looks good from here i love it so just a hexagon spider web one of my old-fashioned shapes that i just made into uh kind of new I love it. Did you know a hexagon is made up of triangles, Don? Well, I never really thought about it much, but yeah. A half hexagon is three triangles, yeah. and a full hexagon is six. Oh, I love the Doesn't it look good, the metallic? So if you want these designs, guys, go to omlembroidery.com. Every time you make a purchase, it helps the channel. It helps me get more stuff. Um, it just simply supports the channel so we can keep going. We do have some embroidery um, experiments coming up. I just got to figure out when. And we also have a t-shirt remake from designs and machine embroidery to work on. What? Joe wants to know if you managed to get your black metallic. No. Metallic. No, I've never seen it here. Um, I will be talking to Eileen Roche um, on Thursday, so make sure you guys watch that. I'll be on. And I, cut, I cut my hair. So, yeah. Again, yes, again. Yay. All right, so that's the spider web, and it looks fantastic, and it almost looks quilted. Uh, I'll show you a side view of it after. I'm going to do the outside also in silver, because I think it'll look really good. And satin stitches in silver, just to kind of finish it off and make it stand out. Oh yeah, our zigzag stitches. By the way, when you do zigzag stitches on an applique, it should do the whole thing. And it gives you an idea if you're not very good at trimming, if your fabric is sticking outside the zigzag stitches, um, you can still trim it if you're really careful. Even if you cut the zigzag stitches, it's not the end of the world. And then when your satin stitches go over, it's um, perfect. So, awesome. yeah. What were you making Love faces at, Don? So, yeah. But see? See how yeah. you could do that? So, it's, uh, I always call it a get out of jail free card. So now we're doing the satin stitches, and because I followed the zigzags, I know there's not going to be any fabric showing. So you could stop the machine if you see something that's outside 
trim it and then put it back on and no one will know that you didn't trim it very well so yeah it's um it's awesome I love how this is turning out. Isn't yeah, awesome? it's quite cute. Wait till I put the green spider on. I have done a green spider and it's awesome. I couldn't get Kingstar black metallic thread, so I got Madeira black pearl. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh, all right, yeah. I'll check that out. I also want to get some uh, glow in the dark. They want me to use glow in the dark, so I need to get some. Yeah, but you don't share. I'll share. We'll get one down. You want? No. <laughs> no. Nice tip on the zigzag. I was working on a design last night and was trying to figure out which one I wanted. You just made up my mind. <laughs> no problem. I, I try to add in little things like that so you have a chance to make it look per not perfect we don't aim for perfection but the the best that you can do and that's why i put the zigzag stitches in they do hold everything down but it also gives you an indication of how everything's going to look and having a nice clean edge for your applique just makes my day it's just nice so yeah yeah it's looking good with the silver it's nothing better than um using metallic thread for satin stitches it's awesome absolutely awesome i probably should have used orange or purple though oh just thinking of that so anyways this is super cute block again at omlembroidery.com um we're starting to get quite a good collection of things going on so it's kind of nice and i love halloween colors and fabrics so i've had a lot of fun victoria says looks great thank you i love it there's nothing wrong with a little bling that's for sure nothing wrong at all are we uh chatting away in the group don people yeah oh of us are quietly watching. <laughs> five. Out of, out of 13,000 that are in the group, only five are watching. I'm sad. Okay, maybe it's not worth paying for this service. That's kind of funny. That's, that's okay. I was just hoping my thinking of this would make it um, easier for people to watch it because it, it'll just show up right on uh, the Facebook page so it's easy I need something to make with awesome Edgar Allan Poe fabric I bought a few years ago I haven't found the right design it's a big design hmm I'll have to come up with something that's interesting Janet Nelson good morning Isabel thank you very much I appreciate the support um for sure janet says what are you making well this is a, a new collection that uh was just released yesterday and it's hexagon spider webs which is kind of cool and there's four blocks for the price of one so the quilting blocks are um free <laughs> so i try to make everything as reasonable as i can for you guys um so this is just one of the blocks it has a matching quilting block and then there's an endless quilting block because i know you guys love that with and it matches everything the spiders are matching so it is awesome isabel thank you that's perfect she posted the link to it so yeah yeah just we're just trying different things to get the word out to more people watch and learn and you know know why i put zigzag stitches in all of my appliques sort of thing also to know that you can use metallic thread for satin stitches oh, ho, ho. 
I'm having computer problems when I'm watching on YouTube, but I'm in your Facebook group. Well, that's okay as long as you were watching. That's awesome. I, I still prefer to have the most views on YouTube so we can kick it up a little bit. Uh, but I just thought it would be easier and we're just going to try it out for a couple of months. Not for every video because it's kind of expensive to do. But um, at least like my, my creation videos. I think that's what we need to do. And sorry you're having uh, computer issues. Sharon says I prefer to watch on YouTube. Yeah, we're pretty much used to it now. So it'll always be on YouTube. It's just we're going to add. Um, Leah says, my screen says 102 watching, but only 52 likes. Come on, kick it up, guys. There's there's 48 people who need to hit that like button. Um, that helps out so much. It's really black and white. Yeah, it is. Debbie Mitchell. Hi, Debbie Mitchell. Thank you very much. How are you doing, Debbie? I think of you every day because I use the batting that you gave me, the pre-cut batting every day. And even if I don't say it on any every video, I quietly thank you because I'm so thankful to have it. So, hi, and thank you very much for your donation. Much appreciated. Vivian Ross is watching on Facebook and says it's nice to have you there. Okay, awesome, awesome. We like to try different things, you know, it's just, it's good to try and make it for people who don't want to or can't figure out YouTube or don't want to make an account. I'm hoping we can reach them too. Mm -hmm. So I am loading up my most favorite green so and it's, green. yeah, it's neon green. It's not glow in the dark, but it could be. <laughs> It's a pretty bright thing. And I am going to do the green for the outside. And I, whoa, how about we finish threading it? What do you think? Maybe. It might help. It might help indeed. There we go. So let's thread it now. <laughs> there we go. That's a better way to make stitches. Debbie's asking how your stock is looking. She has more. Oh, um, I have lots of the smaller ones, but getting short on the bigger ones. Apparently, I've been using a lot of them. Um, Dragon Lord says, we watch via the Fire Stick on TV, but I've yet to find the like button on there. Now that I don't know about. We can, I don't have Fire Stick, but I can look and see for sure. Gail Tips, thank you very much. Um, yeah, awesome. So, a nice green in there. I like it. So this is the lacy design. You can do it in the same colors or another metallic. I always add a color change in it so you can be, you know, more creative. It would still look good if I used silver on it, but I decided to do that. I'm loving this spider web. Thanks, Joellen. That's awesome. What size do you want me to cut? 10 by 10. Um, but I'll take anything you've got. I'm not, I'm not, I have a specialized drawer set aside for it. And I'm telling you, Debbie, nothing makes me happier than when I'm getting ready and I'm late in the morning, like I was today. And I just go and grab it. Oh, look at that. It's pre-cut. It's ready to go. Yeah, I don't have to worry about it. We're stitching the spider, by the way. Oh, I love it. I love it. How do you like on a cell phone? <laughs> the green makes, makes it look like... Um, oh, Joyce Gilbert just liked the video. It just popped up. Um, it's... Looks like it's glowing, Leah, but it's not. And that's what I love about this green. Zoom in, Don, because this is green. This is a, a toxic spider, kind of like the one that bit Spider-Man, maybe? maybe. I've heard. I've heard. Maybe it's the Hulk, a spider Hulk, because it's green. 
Hey, anything can happen, man. You never know, right? It looks good, though. <laughs> It'll make it easy. Misha says you have to exit the chat to like and then re-enter the chat. Oh, who knew? Who knew? I just watch everything on my iPad, so, you know. I found it! Yay! Yay! I will work on 10 by 10 today as I'm getting a pile of scraps. Thank you so much, Debbie! I appreciate it. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I try to remember to thank you every day, but if I don't on the video, I am in person. So, yeah, it's just awesome. Sharon says, that's one of my favorite greens. It gives the neon look. Yeah, it is the brightest lime green I think I've ever seen, or neon green. And I decided to put it around the outside to match the spider because it looks um, pretty good. It looks pretty good to, to match them. It kind of, the focal point is not just on the spider. It's more spread out. So you kind of take the whole thing in with your eye. What, Don? Sally's crafty. Excellent, thank you very much. How do I get this design? There was a link posted back in the chat, but go to omlembroidery.com. There's four designs in the pack, so you can uh, make anything you want. There's smaller hexagons, there's endless quilting, there's a quilting block, and then this block that we're doing. So omlembroidery.com. I love that top stitch over the satin stitch. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things to do. And look at that. It's done. Happy music, I call it. Let's go back to the desk, Don, and take a good look at this. Now I can pop it out of the hoop. Beautiful, beautiful. I, I know, I actually really like this one. Now, if I was, I finished the, the one behind, but if I wasn't finished, look how cute the black ghosties would look beside the orange ones. That look awesome. Doesn't that look cute? Yep. Doesn't that look cute? Lorelai, sorry I have to go, but love these. Well, thanks for watching, Lorelai, and thanks for all your comments and contributions and ideas. I love it. So yeah, this is what I was thinking. And this right here is why I love layer cakes. I mean, obviously you don't get tons of the same. Sometimes you get two, sometimes you get three pieces of it, mm -hmm. but I think that's adorable. And you could do the orange and the black of another fabric and keep it going. But look, at this green and look at this spider isn't he awesome he is just like gruesome and awesome at the same time the silver looks fantastic it looks um a lot better in person because you can see the glitter um on this one that i did it's the metallic thread doing the pretty stitches over the top and that looks really good too. Um, did you notice that Don? that I mm. used metallic thread over it? Oh, that's cool. So I, th I think that's, or the satin stitches either way. I think, um, can this be made as a table topper and not the block? Yeah, you can make it into anything you want. The sizes are five by five, six by six, seven by seven, and eight by eight. So whatever size you want, you could make it. You could make it with the endless quilting and just, you know, keep it going here. So lining up two blocks, or if you do it smaller even, depending on what size table runner you want, just put it all together. But you could use um, one big piece of busy kind of fabric and do the endless quilting. And that would be a fun and easy way of doing it, just putting it all together. So that's a big spider. I know, right? He's friendly, though. This one, I'm not sure if he's friendly, but the bright green one, um, his name is now Hulk. 
so we're going to call him the Hulk. Um, he's kind of nuclear, maybe. Anytime I use this green thread, I think of that. So I love the look of the block. So many things you can do. Well, that's why I included the extra ones, because I've been trying to find a use for this fabric with like a big print on it. Uh, it's actually kind of difficult. This one is absolutely perfect. Don came up when um, he w when I was stitching this out. And he's like, oh, it looks like all the things are caught in the spider web. And I said, I know. And there happens to be a cute little spider right there. So it kind of lines up perfect. Yeah, it kind of did. Um, I was thinking when I pulled this fabric that it would be cool to have one big spider web and then you can use the these bigger print ones because it's really hard to use them for like a background in something like for example if i used it here there wouldn't be enough of anything showing because there's not enough space left so perfect for your big prints that are darn cute that you really like but don't know how to use them this is absolutely perfect. I love it. And of course, the endless quilting is awesome. Each of the spider webs have different type of stitches on them too, by the way. So they look different. This is probably my favorite, the endless quilting. It's a bean stitch. So it makes it look kind of globby, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So um, yeah, awesome. So, you know, I am loving this. This is probably, I don't know if it's my favorite Halloween set because, you know, the Dresden Halloween town just makes me so happy. Um, but it's a lot of fun, great for beginners, and doesn't take much time. So, which is cool. I mean, the quilting, they go fast. That went fast. This one is a little more time consuming, but there's a shortcut. If you do this size, the eight by eight size, the each spider web, you can use a um, charm square. And that's what I've done here. I've used the Kona solids time square. So that will make it a whole lot easier. And because it's all straight lines applique, it's a lot easier to cut out. So yeah, you can have fun with that. They're easy big ugly spider hiding in the middle, my brown recluse and Hulk. So have fun with your fabrics. Have fun with big print Halloween fabrics. There's a couple of options for it. I think it looks fantastic. So head on over to omlembroidery.com. And like I said, every time you make a purchase, you get something really cool to sew. And you're helping support the channel, which I want to keep going on. So remember what I said about the zigzag stitches. Use your King Star Metallic uh, because it's fantastic um, and easy to use and really adds to it. So thanks everyone for watching. If you're new, subscribe to the channel so I can reach my personal goal. I would really appreciate it. Judy Gwilt says, another wonderful design, Sue. Thank you. I'm very happy with all the stuff I've done. So try to keep up with me, I say. <laughs> and uh, hopefully all the broadcasts worked. I think it's a great idea to do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye.